I want to make a quick video about the difference of spoilerons versus flaps, flapperons, uh, etc., and which is a good uh, setup for each. Um, it is pink, yes, the plane is pink, and it's blue on the bottom. Just 3D plane, like to know which side is which. Okay, first of all, we're going to look at that's spoilerons, okay? Aileron, both go up. Simply like this, if, if, if that's all it did, that'd be just simply ailerons, obviously. Since it does that and that, it's considered spoilerons, spoiler, and ailerons. Get it? Neutral flight, and then that's flaperons. Problem is with flaps is conventional airplanes have what's called washout. Basically what it is, the wing tip of conventional planes is twisted down slightly so that when... The plane is in flap mode, it can flare out like so, and your wing tip will be twisted a little bit so that the wing tip is actually level and it will not stall out. Part of the problem with RC airplanes, they don't have that, and it's hard to get the proper angle on each side so that it avoids any tip stalling. So you get a lot of tip stalling with flaps because of this issue where you're um, in conventional airplanes, the main cord, the main wing, will stall out, but because of the tip is not with that washout, it will not stall. So your plane will be under full control, uh, even though you're not generating any lift here. You're just basically having a ton of drag, slowing the plane down. So the problem is with flaps is you basically too much uh, airflow is being caught up right here, and you're basically just kind of stalling the wing out here. Okay. Um, it works in some planes, actually this one it works pretty well, but I you had to set up a mix with the tail, I'll show you, I mixed the tail a little bit, a little bit of up trim actually, just to keep it flying level. It actually works pretty good in this particular setup, but this is the, the exception, not the rule. Uh, with that wing dragon, it's just the opposite, it won't fly with flap arounds hardly at all, but with the uh, spoiler arounds it's awesome. Um, and then with spoilerons, this is a little bit more complex and harder to understand for some people. That's spoilerons, okay, with the wing, the ailerons are pointed up. Okay, so what basically happens is those spoilerons are pushing the plane, pushing the plane down, okay? Um, so what actually happens is you need to counter that. You see that little bit of up trim elevator? I'll show you. So it's trimmed up a little bit. So because the plane's being pushed down, you bring the elevator down, and basically the entire plane is a, just a one major source of drag. So you're in, immensely increasing the amount of drag while still flying on, under control. Some people call that high alpha. But the, the key part of this is you need to be able to trim some up trim elevator. If you just hit the spoilerons all by themselves, the plane is just going to go straight down and you're not going to be able to compensate. You need to have that little bit of up trim on the elevator to maintain the plane staying at the current altitude. Okay? Does that make any sense? Really nice because you got that three position switch right there. So I can have it set up. I'll set the neutral position to neutral flight. So I'll, I know that works. I know that flies. So if I, in a, I'm, in a, I'm in a pinch and it's not flying right, I just hit that switch and I know it flies. So, but I can test out flaps. I can test out spoiler rounds all with one setup and not having to land it and mess with the radio settings and have a headache about the whole situation. So, that buying a little bit nicer radio, you get a little bit nicer features.